Good afternoon, fellow pioneers. It's exactly 11 a.m., $7, 2.1 mile jack in the box. One of my favorite things about this scooter is you just easily walk it above curbs. You don't have to jump any curbs. You just walk it above curbs. I actually wouldn't jump this scooter anywhere. It's a, basically a very strong commuter scooter, not made for off-roading, not made for jumps. Just be careful with it. Mine's holding up really good at like 1,100 miles, I think. We're making a semi-sketchy move to get into this jack-in-the-box, but all this fucking traffic's fucking with me. All right, we're here, we're bringing it in. Oh, beautiful, my favorite type of order. Thank you so much. Alrighty guys, this is our favorite type of shit to deliver here. Let's go with this dude. I'm empathetic, but we should get hazard pay for being out here. Who knows when somebody's just gonna go off. All right, we're going to Melrose. I think it's a store. A little bit of Van Halen going. Oh, I think we're gonna be right here on the corner, 75, 65. 75, 75. Yeah, it's gonna be here, okay. It's for Julius. Thank you, sir. Okay, that was pretty easy. That's definitely the type of security guard you wanna call sir. He looked pretty fucking strong. All right, so I guess we're going back to Chick-fil-A, I think. Let's go. When the battery is fresh on this, it gets to low 30s pretty easily. We're gonna go sit down at Target Center for 10 minutes. If that doesn't work, we'll go to Chick-fil-A. It's still pretty early. This is not a great order, but we're taking it. One's gonna be liquor, obviously. Golden Rule Liquor, Griddle Cafe, 2.1 miles for 11 bucks. Let's do it. These orders are actually going to the same customer. I'm glad I looked, because we're going to Griddle Cafe, which could take forever. I right, one more look at the scooter. Everything I need, two batteries, my tools, my lock, my cell phone battery. Amazing scooter, the V2. Yeah, this slowed us down, but I, I think the liquor store is right up here. This is easy, just like a one can pickup. Thanks, dude. See you next time. Alrighty, that was very easy, a single can. And now the other part, who knows what's gonna happen to the Griddle Cafe, that place, I've been stuck there. So no kickstand, I just put the scooter on the floor, nice. All right, we're jumping on to uh, Sunset. Oh, actually, we don't have to jump on the Sunset, the fucking entrance is right there. How did I screw that up? All right, we'll go, go around all this traffic. It doesn't look like they're busy. The thing about this place is, it is known as being traditionally swamped with customers, but I think that's really more of like a weekend thing, so here. Walking over the curb like this. Cool. Let's go get our food. Hello. Yes, sir. All right, he was honest with me. He gave us 10 minutes. Where is there anywhere around here I can grab a snack? Maybe. Okay, after all that, he ended up bringing it to us. Now we got to go over to 7600 something Hollywood Boulevard. Let's go. We're not going too far. I don't want to forget, I got to get ID from this person. Let's see if we can somehow cross here. I don't think so, but we got to go this way anyhow. We're flying down here. I'm pretty sure I know exactly where we're going. I think we might want to jump on the sidewalk over here because of all this construction anyhow. We'll just do like a hand jump on the curb here. Ready, grab it with your hand and jump it. <laughs> All right, 7616, is that this big building here? I can carry my scooter down these stairs. That's, this is the beauty of this. It's not my dream, but we can do it. Ah, still pretty heavy. Oh my God, what a pain. Remember, one of these orders I have to get ID for. How you doing? That's, I just need your ID, thank you. Sir, enjoy. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, very good. Ended up paying 11 bucks with a $6 base pay. And a $5 tip, so we can't complain about that. Let's get more like that. Let's go. God damn it, here we go, carrying it up the stairs again. 
Up is harder than down. Oh, this is nothing though. Oh, come on, come on. Boom. What's up, buddy? I'm turning down this three and a quarter half mile Chick fil A, even though it's slow. I don't want to do a $3 order right now. Uh, this is bullshit. Three and a quarter for 1.2 again. They gave me the same order twice. Okay, now we have an interesting double which we're gonna take. One of them's a red car to target, one of them is a wing stop. This could take some time, but it's only 1.7 miles for 11.50. Now, of course, whenever we take a red car to order, that means we're gonna be shopping, and we always like to know what we're picking up from Target first. Let's see what this looks like. Soda, laundry detergent, fabric softener, artichoke dip, egg, eggs. We can do this. We just find everything. So there's this. Oh, cool. Um, she needs to get this real quick. I'll, be right I'll, I'll wait for you, buddy. I did it myself, but I ripped off the shelf. <laughs> nice work, dude. Let's put that back up there. All right, we got the first item on our own. The other thing is maybe this is also not behind the sh shelves. Laundry detergent. I know. I did want to see a guy walk out of here with a whole cart full of gain. Yeah, I never understood that one. Because it, it's, it's easy resale because everybody uses it, right? Oh, this yeah. is, it says wrong one. So oh, is there another one? flavor? Yeah, try it. Let me try one. that one. Yeah, just hold it. Yeah, same thing with the with the baby formulas and stuff. Okay, that's it. Beautiful. Cool. It's fucked up, dude. <laughs> All right, but right. thanks for your help. Everything else is available for me. Thank you. All right, guys, that was good to get some help from the team here. Okay, we found the artichoke dip. Yeah. All right, we found the cream soda can. Yes, and now we need eggs of all things. Of course, this guy wants the 18 count of eggs. I'll give him an obligatory check. They look pretty good. I mean, this is gonna be tricky. This is a pretty heavy, long-ass delivery we're doing. It's gonna be tricky to get all this uh, delivered without these eggs cracking. At least these are the right eggs. All right, we got everything, let's go. All right, man, see you next time. Yeah, see you. Audi team, this is actually super heavy. I would imagine there's probably like, I don't know, 40 fucking pounds on my back. Luckily, these are going to the same customer. That's nice. Now we got to go to Wingstop up Highland and we gave them plenty of time. The, door, the app tried to tell us to do Wingstop first, but no, nah, no. Nah. All right, here we go. Now we're as late as wait stop always is. They got a lot of extra time. DoorDash is actually telling me that we're late on this pickup, but I don't think we are. It's bullshit. Wow, this fucking thing is heavy. Don't forget there are eggs in there, dude. Hi, guys. Yeah. I got a KCH. Beautiful. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. No drink, right? Yeah, it comes with a Dr. Pepper. Okay. I guess it does have a drink team. What a fucking pain. This order is a tough. This person's going to meet us out front. I mean, this is right at the maximum limit how much I can fucking physically carry. This is super heavy. So right now we're recreating, I weigh like 175 right now, so we're recreating probably a 225 pounder on this little Roadrunner V2. Customer says they're gonna meet us outside, so that's good, let's go. I think we're going to the same building we went before, right? 7367? I mean, the sooner I get this off my back, the better. Definitely up here, and the customer says they're coming down. I mean, customer in order like this, that's really gonna help a lot. I hope you mean it. Is this it, 7367? This is, in fact, it. Perfect. Your call has been pulled. No. Hi, it's your DoorDash, I'm here. All right, I felt like everything went pretty good. I put the eggs on top, they look very good. Start bringing some of the shit up here for the customer. Person did finally come down. How you doing? Now you think you, you, you think you can get all this? Uh, yeah, I think so. There. Okay. Thank you. Here, I'll throw this. Uh, these are your eggs. Okay, this is what okay. I was most worried about. I appreciate that. There you go. You're awesome, bro. Thank you. Hey, I, you can do it. You can do it. Yeah, it's LA. <laughs> Alrighty. You, you even got the straw. All right. Well, have a good one. Thanks. You too, bro. Thank you. Thank you. I like I should call me bro. Let's well, go. It was a nice 11.50 payout. It was only a dollar tip. I mean, that's pretty rough, team. <laughs> Let's go. We got a pretty good Chick Fil A here. Six dollars for point six. You know we're doing that. Hey, good. Thank you. I got a Daniel H. Almost ready. Okay, thanks, man. Alrighty, we got it, guys. This is actually a gift order. It was under the sender's name, so it was a little confusing, but we got it. We're not going far, and we're dropping off in a lobby. We like that. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, Dream Hotel, 6417, perfect. We don't even have to go up the ramp here. Just pick it up and go.
How you doing? It's for Daniel. Awesome. Zamina sent you a gift, I guess, huh? The gift order. <laughs> Thank you very much. Take it easy. Let me get a picture of it, okay? Thank you very much. See you next time. $3 base pay, $3 tip on that one. It's pretty easy. Let's go back to Chick-fil-A. We got a $10.75, but it is three miles for Chick-fil-A. I got to think about it. I didn't take that three mile one, it's too far, but we're gonna take this 450.9 mile Chick-fil-A. I know Chick-fil-A is gonna take like five to seven minutes and right across the street, I found out this place has the best bathroom and we're a couple hours in. I think I wanna get a little bit ahead of, my, ahead of my bladder so we can stay out here for maximum time till about 3.30. Let's see what happens though, you never know with this fucking place. What's up Adam, good to see you buddy. Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, the weather's good. I mean, it's, I'm not super busy, but it's nice out, so I can't complain. What's up, dude? I got a De, De La R. Thanks, bro. Say that again? I pretty much know where we're going. It's to this big-ass complex. It's pretty simple, so let's go. Yeah, I know the entrance is down this long sidewalk, so I figured we'd just jump on it. Look at this thing. A little mountain mountain bike range up and down up and down but very slightly the scooter is not an off-road vehicle but we're going up here additional instructions are provided in yeah, the dasher this is app it, this is it. i hope we can just walk in here yeah it's open first building on the left we know how to do this oh my foot almost got stuck in there Let's see if this dog freaks out. Me behind her. All right, we're good. I'm gonna switch. Hi guys, it's for Della R. She asked me to leave it here. It goes right here, I guess. Okay, beautiful. All right, thanks friends. Look at the baby. Want to come get me? Let him get me, let him get me, let him get me, let him get me. It's okay. She needs to not pull though. Oh, okay, come, come. Come, come, you're so cute. You're so cute. She loves the people. You are, I, mean, I got two pitbulls and a chihuahua. My life is the same, I understand. Oh my God, a baby. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, 350 base pay, $1 tip, and we got to pet a pug. Thanks, bro. All right, let's go, Kim. This is another order I'm rejecting because it's too far. 3.7 miles, 850, it's too far. That girl was funny. She's like, oh, I don't want this dog pulling so much. I mean, it, when a dog like that pulls, who cares? And plus, you're standing there letting it pull. You're not training it. You're reverse training it by not doing anything. Like, people, it's fine. When you have a small dog like that, it's like a fucking goldfish. Who cares? But train your dog. We got a $6.75.8 mile McDonald's. We're happy to do that one. That's a good, that sounds pretty good to us. Let's fight some fucking traffic. What are you doing, buddy? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, man, you got to park right there like an idiot. All right, we're good. Oh, these fucking zombies. you got to be kidding me. That's right. That's right, mama. Oh, why do you have to walk out of my way? Out of my way, motherfuckers. That's fantastic. Thank you. Great service, great smile. Let's go, we're going to Sunset. All right, we're not going far. We're basically just going like straight down to Sunset. Let's just get out of here, come on. McDonald's is making me hungry. Ooh, sorry guys, sorry. Okay, kids, let's jump on the street right here. Boom, and let's go. Just realized this is a freaking hotel. It's right here. I don't know. It's we're in room 112. If it's easy to find, we'll bring it to them. If not, We'll leave it at the desk. I think it's gonna be pretty easy. All right, this is perfect, actually. Oh, fantastic, thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, enjoy, thank you. That's very nice of you, above and beyond. There's seven of them right here, like 30 seconds away. Can you get me a cigarette? I'll give you 10 bucks for that. Um, I'm not allowed to when I'm on the job. I can really get in trouble. I'm really sorry, man. I appreciate the tip, though, bro. Thank you. I know like 90% of you guys would have done that, but I'm just not, I'm not picking up cigarettes for somebody, but I might buy candy for myself right here. 
I'm gonna use your tip to buy me a little snacky snack though, sir. All right, we got ourselves some chips and a Twix bar. So I'd like to get back to Chick-fil-A and just sit down and eat it. All right, I'll take us through the uh, urban environment, show you guys what's happening down here. Pretty rough living, but they're getting by. It smells nice. Another one of these long orders, I'm not taking it. 2.9 miles for 9.50, I mean, it's a fair deal, but I'm just not taking super long orders. Those are the ones that really take all the energy out of me. Little snack to help pass the time. I've never seen this hot mix and everybody loves the Twix. All right, that was a great snack. We got a $7.50.9 Chick-fil-A. We love it. And they're not busy, so maybe it'll be ready Thank quick. You. See you next time. Beautiful. We were just here. I think we delivered to the same person, as a matter of fact. We're going back to 6555 Barton. Same easy lobby drop off. We'll take this all day. We know exactly where we're going. We didn't really have to jump on the sidewalk before. I forgot that like on this scooter, there's no such thing as curbs. Just go right to where we need to go and just pick the scooter up the right up off the curb right here, just like this. Additional Boom. instructions are provided in the Dasher app. And I guess that door's open, so we just go all the way in. Let's go. There's all these like nice formal people in here sitting around lunch and having meetings and shit usually. Not to put their all down, they're all here before, they're all here. It's fine. Hi guys, this is for Della. It goes over here, right? Yeah, for. Yeah, for yeah, I was literally just here. It was my previous the last delivery was to you guys. It's great. Awesome, thanks, dude. You too, you too. I don't know why there was a 650 base pay on that. It's so close. Dollar tip, 750. We'll take that. It's 210. I'm probably gonna work until like 230 or so. So as we're pulling out of there, we're getting a 1.87 and a quarter red card from Pavilions, but I, I just don't feel like doing that. We're gonna reject it. We didn't, get, we didn't get very far. We got another order here. This one's for 2.4 miles for 6.75. I mean, that's not so bad. It's not, not, not three miles, so. Uh, all right, we'll do it. Yum, yum donuts. I feel like I'm gonna buy myself a donut in here too. I have a bad feeling about this place. Maybe I'm not gonna buy a donut from here. These are pretty good donuts, but I'm not buying one. All right, that was actually pretty easy, and we're, we're not going to like Park La Brea or something. We're going to like a store, so that is good. Let's go. Two miles straight down La Brea. I think we're going, I think the name of the place is European Wax Center. So that's what we're doing. I couldn't sit in this traffic, I just couldn't do it. And we still have about half a mile more to go. We're killing it though, let's fucking go. Out of the way. Man, the roads down here are goddamn awful. All right, 728, oh, it's still a little further, fuck. There it is, there it is. I just saw a Euro, European Wax Center. We'll do it. How you doing, for sure? Enjoy, thank you very much. Take it, take it easy, guys. All right, 475 base pay, $2 tip, we'll take it. All right, we're all the way down here on Wilshire. We still have a little bit of time to deliver. I still haven't put in the second battery yet. We're almost definitely going to need to. While we're flying up La Brea, it looks like it might be too far. It's hard to say. 1175 for 3.3 from Tatsu Ramen. It's too far. I cherry picked us down the 72% in e-bike mode. I had to switch us to bike mode because we have to stay above 70. You want to keep the ability to dash now. That's really the only thing we get by keeping our numbers at a certain way. You have to have that dash now so you don't have to schedule. What the fuck? Let's go, guys. I'm going to go sit down at the Target Center. We're close to the end of the shift anyhow here. We're probably pretty close to ending the shift, but I figure I might as well switch the battery out so we can have maximum performance show you guys how I do this, which I've already showed a bunch recently, but this is probably the best thing about this scooter, is that the battery is swappable and you can carry the secondary battery because I feel like if you can't carry the battery with you, the value of a swappable battery is more just, you don't want to charge your scooter in your house, you just bring your battery inside. Perfect. All right, that's that. 
and this just goes right back in here. Boom. We got a nice one from Jersey Mike's, $5.50.4, hell yeah. All right, most likely our last order. Hopefully they will be ready. Beautiful, we'll see you next time, guys. Thank you. All right, we do like that. Let's get out of here now. Oh, maybe these guys will just let me in here. Oh, shit. How you doing, guys? I'm bringing in a DoorDash. I can slide in here. Thank you. All right, we like that. Now, where are we going? Scooter up the stairs. That is tough. This is definitely our last order. All right, that's that. Fellow pioneers, we are done. We worked four hours and five minutes, and including that $5 tip from that dude, we only made 71 bucks. It is what it is. We had a shitty day, but we made some money. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave comments, ask questions, use my bonus code, Electric Scooter Academy. If you're looking at the Roadrunner line, you get 50 bucks off. Really supports me as a content creator. And I guess this is how we get out of here, right? Oh no, maybe not. Here you go, buddy. I got you. Go ahead. Thank you. Sure. All right, guys. Now we're out of here. I appreciate your support. See you all next time.